guess I'm the only one. For children six to eight in the U.S. Um, first off, before I cover any of the or defend my side, um, I'd like to introduce the topic a little bit. Um, an estimated of 2.04 million um, K-12 children are home educated in the U.S. That's a 75 percent increase since 1999, and experts expect a boom in the homeschooling <clears throat> in homeschooling in the next five to ten years. So obviously, it's something that's rising, and more people are becoming more interested in. Now, wouldn't you want to know exactly why people are choosing to homeschool over public, over sending their children to public school systems? Um, first of all, uh, they, the homeschoolers have a higher statistic in, um, in testing. I mean, as far as uh, it's the statistic that shows that homeschool students cons consistently outperform public school students when it comes to testing. A survey conducted by Dr. Brian Ray from the National Home <coughs> Education Research Institute and Homeschool Progress Report showed <clears throat> this study was of 11,739 uh, 11, homeschool students and their families from all 50 states through 15 independent test services show that on average homeschoolers score 37 percentile points over students, over public students in the standardized testing. So that itself uh, shows that you know, that uh, homeschoolers are doing better in academically. Um, as far as uh, some of the points that that Derek said, he said that uh, some of the harms are that they don't have, they don't need credentials. Okay, yeah, they don't need credentials, but statistics show that, okay, homeschool, homeschoolworld.com study shows that <clears throat> how test scores were not affected severely by parents' lack of education. Parents with the, students with parents with a degree scored at 90 in the 90th percentile, and the ones without scored in the 83rd percentile. That's better than the public school systems. They scored in the, in the 50s percentile, percentile. So that itself doesn't show that, you know, just because they don't have credentials, that they cannot educate their children correctly. Also, he says that there is no regulations as to as to you know when act, the, the state can actually stop by anybody's anybody's house, any of the homeschoolers' parents' house, anytime they like without any notice, just to ask for the for the notes and the and the reports on what it is that the child has been learning throughout the year. So that's not relevant. That, they are, even though they are, there is regulations. Now, um, he also talked about socialization and how he talked about this girl, obese girl named Christina. Um, I don't see how that is relevant, just because one case of one parent not neglecting their child. I mean, that can happen even if she does go to school. That doesn't necessarily mean that just because she was homeschooled, that is why all that happened. Um, now, he's also talking about well, as far as home socialization, um, it, homeschooling actually offers a healthier and better supervised social 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 life for these children. Um, a study by Dr. Raymond Moore, author of 60 books and articles on human development, has done extensive extensive research on homeschooling and socialization. After analyzing over 8,000 early childhood studies, Moore Moore concluded that. Contrary to popular belief, children are best socialized by parents and not by other students. Now, uh, being in a, in a room full of students, uh, uh, of kids the same age as you, sometimes may, may make you want to be like them, or even there's the bullying, there's competition. So, you know, being around adults might be a better idea than, than being around children the same, your same age for seven hours a day, five days a week. Also, another study in July 2000, he dis the Discovery the Discovery Institute of Seattle based of Seattle based think tank published an extensive report on homeschooling written by senior fellow Dr. Pat Patricia Lines. She described several control studies comparing the social kits of homeschoolers and non-homeschoolers. The homeschooled showed less behavioral problems 
Therefore, giving <clears throat> Dr. Lyons' conclusion, there is no basis to question the social development of homeschooled children. He also talks about, how, about time and money. Um, <clears throat> actually, uh, he said that it costs about $6,000 to homeschool a child. That's incorrect. Um, it, uh, it is actually averages out to about $600 a year, and that can actually be less if, in case, uh, if the parent has been homeschooling and maybe had re recycled some books or other stuff from the previous ones. And it actually, according to the U.S. Census, 6000 to 19000 is spent a year to send a kid to public school. That averages out to $10,000 per child a year in a public school system. So, no. And as far as time, uh, children, actu children that actually that are homeschooled are actually more, have more time to spare and to have more activities. It's <clears throat> to have more, to use up their time in other, other curriculums besides school. And they don't need to, they don't have homework. So that, <coughs> that helps, sorry. Um, yes. <laughs> Actually, yeah. 